Welcome to our tutorial about global ASAX files. First, let's start by adding this file to our project, Global Application Class. Let's leave the default name and click Add. This application has five event handles. Let's focus on four of them. Application Start Application End Session Start and Session End. First, let's learn about applications and sessions. When the first request comes to a server, the server creates an application object. This object stays alive as long as activity continues. The user comes, the user goes. The object holds global information for all users. If the request hasn't been received in, let's say, 30 minutes, the server will kill the application object simply to free up resources. Now a session object, on the other hand, is created for a particular user. When that user leaves, the server will end the session object also to free up resources. And now I want to show you a simple example of how we can utilize both of these objects, the application and the session. Application, My Counter, space equals space zero. I've just set up a variable, My Counter, and I've initialized it with a zero value. Next, I'm going to copy this code, copy, and I'll place it inside the session start event handle. My counter space equals plus one. And let's right click and copy this line of code. Under the session n handle, let's change the plus sign to a minus sign. Now let's create a label to display the value stored in this variable. Here I'm going to type counter and label 1. Let's delete the text property. Let's name it LBL my counter. Now let's double click on the empty space and type LBL my counter period text equals and then we'll right click and paste the code we've got on our clipboard. OK. Now, every time the page loads, the number of users currently on the website will be displayed. Let's right click and copy this URL. Now let me launch Firefox. Let's paste the URL into our address bar and go. We've got a second session now. If I close my browser and wait while the first reloads, we'll only have one user running. This is just one simple example of how you can use a global ASAX file. And this concludes our tutorial about global ASAX files.